Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today is a really fun, exciting day because I got a new car. I am so, so excited. We just traded in my Dodge Caravan that we've had since 2010. So it was a 13 year old van. And now I got this brand new, beautiful Chevy Traverse. Look at how pretty it is. We got the nice big red one and it's the premium. So my first time to ever have an SUV. I'm super excited about it. All right, so come with me to check out my new car. It does have this cool feature, so I can start the car without being in it. My new car actually came with <laughs> one of these smart little things. I did technically have one for my Dodge Caravan, but it broke a long time ago, accidentally washed like 10 years ago. Um, what did I say? Oh, the windows are tinted and it came like complimentary. And anytime the tinting comes off, all I have to do is take it back up to the dealership and they will retint it and fix it. And that was something that came, I think, for life with the car. This car has so many more features than I'm used to having in my car my other car y'all my dodge caravan that car was 13 years old i literally drove that car until it could not drive anymore we didn't want to have more payments we didn't want to have to have another car payment we haven't had car payments in like six years and it was something we were trying to avoid but it just became unavoidable the other car just it finally it had all kinds of problems it was overheating it had a coolant problem both of the windows wouldn't roll up properly so they had to be taped or covered it was just a mess and the whole inside of the car was a disaster with it being 13 years old and having the kids like as babies and toddlers when we first got it it the inside of it was pretty much destroyed like honestly i'm surprised we got any value of it any value out of it when we traded in for this traverse so for this traverse i'm actually really excited but i think the car is too fancy for me i'm not used to any of these fancy upgrades i have not bought a new car in 13 years i mean my husband did get one like several years ago but i don't really drive his car and i don't really know much about his car because i was always in my van so i'm going to show you a little bit of what the features look like up here in the car and kind of show you a little bit around of what the car looks like and that's about all I can share with you guys today because I don't have, I don't know all of the details. You know, I'm not a car salesman. But here's what the back looks like. We do have the two, I think they call those captain seats. I can't remember. And then the three bench in the back. So it does seat seven people, which was very important. We needed it to be able to fit seven for our whole family. We would have been okay with six. It's just James wouldn't have been able to be with us and we would have always had to take two cars. So seven was really what we needed. And we did not want another minivan. We wanted to go SUV this time. And I'm so glad the inside seems to be just as big as a minivan and it actually seems to be roomier, which I didn't even think would be possible. Maybe the kids were just too excited about it but they said it's roomier back there. Maybe they're just excited that it's new and it doesn't smell and there's no trash everywhere. The kids are already talking about how they're gonna keep it cleaner, no eating and drinking in here and kind of watching each other to make sure that they keep it clean and picked up, which is fine because it's a brand new car and I want it to stay as clean as possible. Um, but yeah, lots of room and I'll show you the trunk space in a little bit. Let me show you the front center console. Is that what it is? Okay, can I zoom out? All right, unfortunately, okay, this is as zoomed out as it'll go. So even over here, I have all of these buttons. I don't know what all of them do yet. There's my keys. I keep them in there because they don't have to be in here when I'm driving. Um, here we have that, which is probably my lights for when I'm driving at night. And then here we have all of these functions on the dashboard and on the actual steering wheel. We have buttons here. I do know that this one's cruise control. This one sets the cruise control. This has something to do with collision. I know there's a bunch of cameras on the car. Um, phone maybe. These buttons, I know that if you push this one, it'll control that center part. See how it's changing? I want that focus. There it goes. 
it's changing. Only 31 miles in my car. <laughs> when I got the car, it only had five miles on it, and it took that many miles to get home. So all of these different functions that I'm not used to having on here, but it's I'm sure it's helpful and handy. A timer, I don't know why I need that. Um, I want to see this right here, the digital speedometer. Um, and then we have the console here with lots of different features. You could have cool seating or heated seating. That is so cool. I've never had that in my car before, especially the cool seating. So helpful for when it's 100 degrees outside. Also has heated seating. This one has heated seating. And both of these seats have heated seating. Now these two seats do not have the cool seating where it cools it off, but they do have the heated ones, which is great for winter. And then of course we have the other, the fan, where's it blowing, all the traditional stuff you would see on a car, AC. I don't know why that says that. Um, yeah. So, and then we have up here with the home section and lots of different, there's apps, OnStar, the camera. So look, you have an aerial view, is that cool? And then I have my front camera and there will be a back one whenever you put it in reverse and go back. So nice there. Um, and then there's really all kinds of stuff. If I can do phone, I think that's uh, like Google Maps. This has to do with the heating and cooling of the car. And then music, which device is it found because my phone's not in here. And then look, check this out. Look, you have a hidden compartment in here. That's so cool. <laughs> of course, this adjusts volume. Um, if you're changing stuff, here you have the, of course, you know, I keep forgetting what that's called. And then we have the seat here, the actual center console. This is a wireless charger. So it charges my phone, some USB ports, what is that? One of those circle things. Um, then we have two cup holders. I don't know what these do. I haven't got that far yet. I also don't know what that does. Um, we have the middle center console. If you lift it up here, we have this little tray. And then all this down in here. It's pretty deep, actually. I don't know what I'm going to put down there. But that's really nice. Um, up here, one thing that's really cool, which it's really hard to see, but this just looks like a regular rear view mirror. You can switch it to be the camera in the back. Isn't that awesome? So many features in this car, like so many that I still have left to discover. But let's change it back to the way it was. And then we have up here, which also may be hard to see. We have the lights. This is where we call OnStar. Not sure what the SOS is. Maybe that's my hazard lights. Um, and then not sure what that is and I'm not sure what these do still haven't figured that out Up here. We have lights over here like a little vanity set Azalee was really really excited about that because the same thing is over here on her side I think that's pretty much everything out front. Let's go to the back So in the back, it is pretty roomy. I have leg space and I'm 5'9", so I'm pretty tall. Cup holders for the window and then over here they have controls. This would be for their heated seats, although we don't need that yet because let's be honest, it's still technically like summer here. Uh, temperature, temperature control for the back and fan control for how strong you want it. Then there's all these USB ports, four of them here. Um, oh my gosh, a regular plug. Look at that, a regular plug. <laughs> I don't know that I've seen one of these in a car before. Oh, and then you have some storage down here. It's really hard to see. Here is the complete back seat. We have three seats back here. Let's crawl back here and see how it feels. Oh my gosh, guys, even in the very, very back, you have leg room. I have leg room. 
we don't we didn't have this much leg room in the minivan you have more cup holders here you have a charging USB port right here awesome um, on this side the same thing you have a USB port this here cup holders and of course these seats fold down if you need extra space in the back of the car let me show you the trunk space because it is more than I thought you would get in an SUV. This is actually very comparable to a minivan. So if you're someone who needs space, has lots of kids, but you don't want a minivan, the Chevy Traverse is definitely a contender. Probably a little bit more pricey, but still a contender. And to turn off the car, boom, hit a button. And look at all this space, guys. This is still a really good amount of space. And you can lift that up and have more space. As Ailey said, this bottom part's like a cooler, so if you wanted to keep maybe the cold stuff down there, you could. And hit a button to close it. That is my brand new fancy Traverse car. I am so excited about my new car. Like you have no idea. It's been so long. Um, if you have a Traverse that's a premium like mine that is like fully decked out and you know what some of those features are, let me know in the comments because that'll help me learn my new car faster. And if you don't have this car, tell me what are some of your favorite features of it. Would you consider getting one? I definitely think it's great so far, but I mean, I've technically only had it less than a day, but I still think it's great. All right, I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone.